Good, Good morning. morning, week number six. six. So this week the plan is we're going to finish the floor. Whoop! Yeah, we got the vinyl delivered. The what? The van? We got the vinyl delivered. That's right. We haven't actually opened it yet, so we hope it's alright. We've got a sample of it, so we know what it looks like. Let's show the sample. Oh yeah, wait a minute. There's a sample. So I'm coming for this dark wood Yeah. Thing. Um, super flexy, nice and like spongy and foamy. There's the thing. I'll leave that. Um, Best for flooring. I think it was about a hundred quid. Yeah. So it was eleven fifty per square meter. So we got four meters by two meters, which fits perfectly in the van. Um, we did. If you can see here, Lars done a scratch test. And yeah. you literally had to, what did you use a fork? Yeah. And literally like dug away at it for like 10 minutes before it started to scratch. Yeah, I grabbed the fork, also done it with a knife, and I just kept uh, scratching it to see how much abuse it can take. Yeah. And it was quite a long while before yeah. it started tearing up, so I think it's going to be good for us. Yeah, it's it nice and soft, Yeah. or it's, uh, it's a pretty good like squidgy thing. I don't know how long before it before it stops being squidgy but yeah that's the plan we need to we're gonna take all the flooring out that's why we didn't screw it down mm -hmm. so we're gonna take everything out lay it down on our driveway and then we're gonna lay this guy on top do a do a rough cut out so we don't have to do the majority of the cutting in the van take all the plywood back in screw it down put this on top again do the final down. trimming and then yeah. glue it down and we should be good to go all right we just finished taking all the floor out Cass is doing the sweep and now we're gonna get the big roll of vinyl and just lay it on top of this and do a rough cut out Guess where we are? We are back outside! <laughs> oh no! What happened was we put everything back in and we started trimming. But that 5 centimeter perimeter or excess that you have left is still a bit too much to be able to do a tidy cut. So we took everything out, we're gonna put, we put the vinyl down upside down flip the boards over so everything lines up and now Cass is going to go around and trace around the wood onto the vinyl and then we're going to put everything back in cut this and hopefully we can do a lot neater job so yeah I'll let you guys know if this is the more recommended way of doing it but the other way is a bit too painful so we're going to try this all right, we got our template ready, and Cass is now going through and chopping it all out. Hopefully, this goes better than last time. Two hours later. All right, it's after the after lunch. We took all the tape up, and now we're gonna start screwing everything out. We got uh, I don't know whatever this is, forty by thirty wood to wood screws. And yeah, this should be a perfect fit. Um, Show them the test piece. Oh yeah, here's a little test piece. I just got a little got a ply and a baton that we had in the scrap. And I just wanted to find out if these uh, split if you don't pre-drill. But the screws seem really good. We don't have to countersink or um, or pre-drill them. Nothing seems to be splitting. And then we also done a test glue of the vinyl onto the wood just to see how it works how much wiggle room we have we're using this spray adhesive we looked at the big bucket things as well that you um that you kind of spread but you they only came in these massive buckets so we thought we're just gonna try this and we've seen other people use this as well so 
yeah, we're going to screw everything down and start gluing. We've finished screwing everything down. Done the walk test. We don't have any creaks really. So I don't know, fingers crossed. We should be good. And done a hoover, clean the wood. And now we're gonna start gluing. So we're gonna start at the back. Glue some on there. Glue some on the wood. And then we're gonna work our way forward. And fingers crossed everything's gonna go well. The floor is finished. Woohoo! So yeah, glued everything down. It looks pretty nice. We literally just had enough glue in that yeah. one can. A one can was literally just enough to finish it. So yeah, it looks really nice. We should be happy with it. No major problems. The review for the floor install is the trick is to take your floor out and lay it on top and cut it out. The moral of the story, if you're gonna do vinyl floor, it's easy if you cut it out of the way we've done it. If you oh, if you do it the other way, it's gonna be pretty hard. If you've never fit a floor before, it makes sense to stick your template on top, draw around it, Stanley knife it out, yeah. bit of bamboo, you're down. Yeah, it fit, fits really nice. Especially around all the fiddly bits. I know lots of fiddly bits, you guys know about them because yeah. we'll be showing you all the weird bits. But yeah, it's a, su it's a super nice finish, even around the edges where it doesn't really matter. Uh, we just need to, there's some glue over, over spray that we can remove with some acetone. Yeah, it's like a wind tunnel, so it's just going... Yeah. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's all finished. Mm -hmm. And that is it. Next up, we're gonna do the. Next up, we're gonna do the wall patterns and the wall insulation and the ceiling. But yeah, that's about it. Mm -hmm. whoop, whoop. Good morning. Uh, it's now Sunday. I'm just wait in the van waiting for Lars to get up because we are now about to go to be and queue. The floor is looking really, really good. Let me just spin you around. So it's looking really, really nice. Super happy with the color that, that we chose. Um, so yeah, now off to B&Q and Wix to get some buttons and the insulation because we're going to start the buttons today I think um, but we just want to kind of pick up a few bits for next week because obviously we've got the four, four day weekend over Easter and then we've got the next four days off after that so we're just trying to buy a few stuff in preparation for that so we don't have to keep sort of leaving leaving the house too much so yeah we're gonna go do that this morning I say this morning it's about half eleven um the clocks went forward so it's kind of throwing us off a bit but yeah so we're gonna go to being q and wix and yeah see you in a bit a break from our standard programming <laughs> Cass is planting strawberries these are I've had these for like three years we grew from little seeds but in our flat in London, they never come to anything, so we didn't get enough sunlight in the garden. But now, wow, look at that! So we're gonna get good strawberries this year. Yeah. Right, let's crack on with the van. Got back from all the shopping, but we got some of the uh, recycled plastic wool, four bags, and then we got two of these big sheets of 50 mil kingspan for the roof and then these main cavities but yeah first we're gonna start doing the battens so we got these uh bnq treated battens they are 25 by 38 uh these guys are and the plan is is that we're gonna put them up on these the bit that's extruding out the reason why it's 25 is because it needs to come basically in flush with this and the reason why it's about 36 is because it will sit nicely along here we got some of this thermal wrap stuff which will wrap around the uh, inside once we put the insulation in and yeah i think today's it's about 3 30 it's pretty late now we're gonna start putting in the battens and then i need to get one of those um 
pocket hole jig so we can do the verticals next as well. So I think the plan is to fit some of these verticals um, along there and along there. And that's it for this week guys again thanks so much for watching and join us next week where we get the buttons up on the walls and start on the wall and the ceiling insulation thanks for watching see you next week guys bye we probably did it thanks yeah come on man. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh both pigeons get so low where is he He's up on the roof, Cass. Uh, insulation on the bathrooms. What accent is that? <laughs> I don't know. Science, no. <laughs> <laughs> and... What? <laughs> <laughs> and... Ouch! What happened? Did you touch the to my... <laughs>